Hey everyone, so this is my 15 and 16 week update. I did not do a 15 week update because I felt like there wasn't enough information and I thought I would just lump the two together and I was feeling a little bit lazy. So, um, so I am now 17 weeks and two days. So I, I will be filming my 17 week update pretty soon in the next couple days, but I wanted to get my 15 and 16 week update up. So definitely feeling more bumps and thumps now that I'm like a little farther along I feel them a lot more but when I was 15 and 16 weeks I was feeling them more consistently than my like 13 14 update um, and they are definitely thumps versus like the little flutters with Flora I got a lot of like bubble like butterfly movement this one is definitely like dumb dumb like little thumps um, I had some decreased evening appetite again where I just didn't feel hungry or I would eat and then I would be like automatically full. I couldn't eat one more bite. I have like this portion control automatic cutoff with this pregnancy which is wonderful because I didn't have it with floor where I get full quickly and then I just literally cannot stuff another bite in my mouth which is fantastic. <laughs> I really like it. So um, hopefully that continues throughout the pregnancy and it has been easier for me. Um, because over 15 and 16 weeks, I did not gain weight again, which was wonderful. Um, we did, I think I talked about this previously, but when I met with a dietitian, she was trying to sign me up for my um, clinics. They have like a, a CSA, that they like a free CSA if they think that you should qualify for it. And it was full at the time, but since people have dropped out, so we have been put into our local CSA so we have gotten two shares so far and it's been fabulous and we've eaten almost everything from the first share and we're still working on the second share but it's great it's like so many things zucchini kale beans lettuce tomatoes what else tons of vegetables I can't even think off the top of my head but tons of vegetables and I've been making things obviously incorporating more vegetables into our meals because of this so I really like it I was not feeling so bumpy um, during 15, 16 weeks. I just was feeling not so bloated maybe, so maybe I didn't feel like my bump was as big. But in the evening, it was always bigger than in the morning. Uh, I have noticed also that I did have this with forced pregnancy. I got like this little skin bump on the inside of my eye, like on the outer corner, which is still there. But then I got another little blemish that was like, it's not, it wasn't like whitehead, it wasn't a pimple, it was just like this hard little lump, but I did pop it. So I don't know what that was. I'm going to talk to my doctor about the one that I still have from floor. I don't, it's like this hard, I don't know if I need to see derm, I don't know what it is. So I'm going to ask her about that. Okay, 16 weeks. Um, we, we, well our fair is going on right now. So I've been working on all my fair products, or I was working on my fair projects, which I have since entered and since been judged. And we won, we because I some of the things were floors things I made for um, a third place ribbon for floors bedspread. And I'll insert pictures and a first place for my winter poncho from last year, which I'll also insert a picture. So very exciting for that. Um, for a couple days during 16 weeks, I felt some soreness in my inner thighs, like I was had been squatting for long periods of time, but I hadn't been. So I'm not sure if it was like stretching or I don't know what it was, but it was definitely sore in my inner thighs for just maybe a day or two. I have noticed, I did see this on my what to expect email, that I've had greater sensitivity to allergens. <laughs> I've been sneezing constantly for like a week, multiple times a day when I never sneeze that much. So I don't know if it's a fall, like allergies coming out or something or end of summer like grass allergies I don't know but I have noticed a lot of sneezing I've also been grossed out by uh, leftovers I think I mentioned this previously that I've had to have my husband clean the refrigerator but like I'm just like ultra sensitive like one thing that I've noticed is refrigerated tomatoes really really gross me out which is really specific but if you refrigerate a tomato like a garden fresh tomato they get like mealy I don't know how to explain it the, the flesh gets like really white versus just like a, a tomato that's outside or on your counter is not so anyway that's been disgusting grossing me out so it's all I have for 15 16 weeks now we did go and do the ultrasound and I said my husband was going to try to do and the results were inconclusive so I'm not going to share that right now um, I've already have my um, 
uh, anatomy scan scheduled. It's like 19 weeks, four days. So as soon as I know for sure, I will tell you guys. I like Hamden Hall over, but like the grandparents don't even know, so I'm not even gonna put it out there. But we'll see. So I'm gonna share the few baby things that I did get. First thing is a diaper that we don't need, <laughs> but I love the pattern. Floor loves Legos, my husband loves Legos, so I got a Lego diaper. This is a glow bug diaper, and it came with two inserts. I think they're both uh, bamboo. And the other thing was I won a giveaway at one of our local Mom's Blogs events, and one of the prizes was two little shirts, and one was a onesie. And this is a three to six. Super cute. And it came with a bigger one too, a 2T, but floor's too big for that, so I'll save both these for baby. So cute, vegetables, perfect for we love to garden. Let so. me show you my bump, and that's it. So this is 17 weeks and two days. So that is everything. I hope you guys have an awesome week, and I will record my 17-week update very soon. Let me know if you have any questions or comments. I love to interact with you guys, like I say, all the time, and I'll talk to you later. Bye!